This is going to be a general overview of glycolysis. So what is it? What is glycolysis? Glycolysis literally means the splitting of glucose, the prefix glyco meaning coming from sugar, and lysis meaning to unbind or split. So therefore, glycolysis is the metabolic process that takes glucose and breaks it down into two pyruvate molecules. It is important to know that glycolysis occurs in the cytosol of the cell, which is located here. Another important thing to know is that the biochemical reactions of glycolysis can occur even in the absence of oxygen, or in other words, glycolysis works in anaerobic and aerobic conditions to produce energy in the form of ATP. So this is what glycolysis looks like. Let's simplify this into two major steps, the preparation phase or investment phase, and the payoff phase. In the preparation or investment phase, energy is used in the form of two ATP molecules to convert glucose into two three-carbon molecules called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. In the payoff phase, each one of these glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecules undergoes a series of reactions to produce a pyruvate molecule and in return two ATP molecules are formed. And so, two ATP molecules plus another two ATP molecules equals a total of four ATP molecules and two pyruvate molecules made in the payoff phase from one molecule of glucose. Another important product of the payoff phase is the production of NADH. Each reaction from glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to pyruvate produces one molecule of NADH, making a total of two NADH molecules from one glucose. These molecules are important because they will later lead to the production of ATP in the electron transport chain. The last products of the payoff phase, which are less important, are two water molecules. So if you look at glycolysis like baking a cake, your ingredients include one molecule of glucose, two ATPs, two NADH+, two inorganic phosphates, and four molecules of ADP. And these ingredients undergo a series of biochemical reactions that we collectively call glycolysis, which gives you your cake, which is composed of two pyruvate molecules, four ATP, two NADH molecules, and two water molecules. Overall, glycolysis actually nets positive energy by a total of two ATP. This is because four ATP are made in the payoff phase, while two are consumed in the preparation phase. And so one molecule of glucose can give you a net total of two ATP molecules from glycolysis alone.